Okay, folks, these, these are four out of seven since it is a semifinals. And we're about ready to start this match. Edmond to serve. There's a, a bit of a jittery start here. Both of them sail the ball into the net here early on, just uh, trying to get warmed up and get into the flow of the match. Oh, very nice. Very nice forehand put away there by Grant Lee. Surge by Vincent, but we couldn't capitalize on it. Now well, Grant pulled that one out, but. Uh, Vincent did a very effective job that time, moving the ball from the left to the right court, keeping Grant moving, trying to get him out of uh, out of off kilter and out of position. It just didn't quite work, wasn't quite enough, but uh, that's what you have to do to beat a competitor like Grant Lee. Serving five, game one. Yeah, very nicely well executed play there by Vincent Emond. High toss serve. Grant returned it back, but it was a little bit high and just, uh, again, any of these competitors at this level, you cannot hit the ball even three inches high. They're going to take it downtown and smash it, and that's exactly what happened. Close game though, six to six here. And both players toweling off. The obligatory tile off at the six point interval. Couldn't quite connect on that one.
Yeah, early on here at the observation, it, it appears that uh, Vincent's having a little bit of trouble just capitalizing on that third ball attack, especially off the high toss serve. Um, again, it's probably a question at this point. The players just need to have a game behind them to, to warm up a little bit more, but haven't seen too many of those hit. Uh, Grant Lee going to the middle. Very wise move. Game number one, 11 to nine, Grant Lee prevails in this one. And we'll uh, be right back here in a second for number two. Stay tuned. As you can see, uh, Grant's getting some coaching advice from Coach uh, Shigang Yang in the corner out of Atlanta. He's a top-level provincial Chinese player and now coaching full-time here in the southeast in Atlanta. Time's up, and now the players will hit back. Can't do that to Grant Lee. Pop it up that high, it's going down there 100 miles an hour, and that's exactly what happened there. Another high toss serve. Clip the top of the net. Oh, good serve there. Deceptive spin, and uh, gave Grant a bit of problems. Two in a row. Tied up at three apiece here in game two of the best uh, of seven in this semifinals match. not to throw the ball backwards. It has to go vertically up. It cannot go back and then arc behind the ball, behind the player or the table. Ready? 
Uh, good rally. With Annette in the Annette uh, Clipper there as well, but uh, in the end, Grant Lee prevails. <coughs> Sailed a little bit long, so Grant gets the point. Two very good shots there that time by Vincent, right to Grant's middle. And if you want to stop a player from getting into his offense, that's the best way to do it. Hit the middle of the body. hit it as soon as it landed on the racket. It happens every now and then to everyone. Oh, there's the obligatory dust wipe to remove that uh, piece of gravel off the top of the table. Boom, there it is. Yep, too high. Game point here, 10 7 in game number two. Very nice misdirection there. Uh, Grant opted to put a little bit of side spin and switch the locations. It appeared initially he was going to the forehand of Vincent, but he ended up going to the backhand and put a little bit of a side spin motion on it as well, which was. Nice little twist. Vincent got it back, but the second one was a little bit too much. All right. Well, there we have it. 7-11 in game number two here in this best of seven match for the uh, single finals of the boys or junior singles at the North American Championship. I'm Mike Babion here at the Bond Park Community Center. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Well, let's see what words of wisdom the coach gave Vincent in the corner there after that last game. Vincent's down uh, two games in this match. He's got to start generating an offense. And, and well, there we go. First one you see, very aggressive shot. And it's probably that's what the coach told him is you need to start taking a little more risks. So far, he's been playing relatively cautious, I would say. He needs to really take it to Grant Lee. As said, Grant's number two seed in the draw here, and he's just the type of player 
you, you can't hope to sit back and wait for him to make mistakes. It's just not going to work in, on most days. Grant's going to take it to you, and you have to take it to him as well. Well, that was a really good serve by Grant Lee. He popped a lot of side, a lot of top spin on it, and Vincent recognized it, but it was still a lot to navigate, and it just uh, caused that return to go a little bit too high. serve there actually. It was arcing back the wrong way. Right. Umpire didn't call it. Got to be careful with those. I believe this is the largest lead in the match for Vincent Rousseau et Monde. Five to two in game three. It's pretty obvious he's taking this uh, to another level. He's trying to attack more. Very particular in what he's doing and what he's not doing. And now he has a six to two lead. Very good serve. Deep to the corner of Grant Lee. Caught him a little bit by surprise there on that. I believe that one clipped the edge. I'm not certain. I didn't see it, but it appeared to have a weird bounce that would indicate that. Grant trying to go to the middle, right idea. But he's in deep trouble in this game, down three to eight. He's got a lot of work to do. Forehand by Vincent Rousseau Emond from Canada. Take a commanding nine to four lead in game number three. Amazing return. I can't believe Grant got that one. If that was anybody else, they'd be standing there looking at it, sail past them. Seeing a lot of renewed focus by Grant Lee here. He's come down from three to nine, back to seven, seven to nine here. He's on an amazing re resurgence. Let's see if he can keep this up. It's actually a key point right here. You don't want to give Vincent this to get it to 10. Oh, and that's exactly what he did. I probably jinxed it. Sorry, Grant.
All right, so we're at game point, but only a two-point difference uh, between Grant and Vincent. Vincent really needs to close this one out and get back on the scoreboard here in this match. He's down two games to nothing. Grant Lee serving. Well, there's one. Vincent tried the flip and it just didn't quite work. Now we have a timeout called. Coach Alex Shigang Yang giving some more advice to Grant Lee in the corner. Probably playing out the scenarios of what happens if he ties. Because if that didn't happen, well, the game would be over. All right. Oh, there it is. So, Vincent is back in the match, wins this game, and he's now down one game to two. And we'll resume with game number four momentarily. Stay tuned. Four out of seven, the match stands two games to one. Lee to serve the fourth game. Love all.
Well, resuming action here in game four. Vincent Rizzo Mon from Canada serving the ball. Score five to six. Oh, Grant Lee slammed that one home with a big forehand. Now taking it to a two point lead. Seven serving five. Vincent's frustrated with that shot. He, he knew he had him and he wanted to get it over and it just couldn't quite get the right angle to get that over the top of the net. Now six serving eight. there for Vincent. Oh. Yep. That's what Grant wanted there. Set it up for the big forehand. Now that's 10 for Grant Lee. One more point for him to close this game out. And they'll go talk about it. Timeout called. All right, game five here. Back at Bond Park. Grant Lee with a three to one lead.
Yeah, couldn't quite capitalize on that. Good ball placement by Vincent Rousseau and more. To tie it back up here at 2-2 two -two in game five. Going for a little longer and deeper serve that time. Paid off for him. Every now and then he'll do that, although most of his serves are relatively short. Oh, very nice forehand there by Vincent Rousseau. Him on. That's what he's got to do to get back into this match. He has to get some points generated now. He's down three to six. This could be the last game if he's not careful. He's got to fight back and apply the pressure. the way it goes sometimes. Good break there for Vincent. Oh, very nice. First it was the wide angle shot uh, from Vincent and then same direction, deeper right to the corner. Excellent play by Vincent Rousseau Amond from Canada. Brings it back to 5-7. And he's serving. And he gets that one. Grant sails it a little bit long off the end of the table. it up at seven to seven. What a great comeback that was. I mean, that's exactly what Vincent needed to stay, stay alive in this match here. We'll see what Grant Lee can do with the serves. Serve short, attack. Yep. Too much top spin on that ball for Vincent that time. Big point here. This this is one of the key points in the match. If Grant Lee can get this and get out to stretch it out to nine, that's going to put a lot of pressure on the Canadian to, to come back. But doesn't work out that way. Eight eight, tied up.
Very, very nice shot. Right down the line, loaded with topspin. He'll take a few more of those, I'm sure. Judgment of the timing and the spin of the ball brings it back to nine apiece here in game number five. Double match point for Grant Lee if he can pull this out. Timeout called. Probably a good timeout. Wise choice by Coach Alex. Grant tried to rush that one. It just wasn't there. Critical error at this point of the match. That gives the advantage to Vincent Rousseau. Game point for him to stay alive in the match. Nope. Ties it back up. 10 to 10. The opportunity still avails itself for Grant Lee to close this match out here if he can get the next two points. Judge the spin on that one. Nice shot. Very nice and well played. a one point lead here, match point, and he has service. And there it is, folks, 13 to 11. In the five-game match here, Grant Lee of the United States is victorious over Vincent, Vincent Rousseau Amon from Canada.